The crank pin circle radius of a horizontal engine is 300 mm. In the problem, forces acting on the various parts of a horizontal engine are asked to be analyzed. This is the crank radius R, that is 300 mm. The mass of the reciprocating parts MR is given as 250 kg. This is the crank angle theta measured from the inner dead center of the horizontal engine. The difference between the driving and the back pressure value that is P1 minus P2 is given as 0.35 Newton per millimeter square. The connecting rod length L is given as 1.2 meter. The diameter of the cylinder capital D is given as 0.5 meter. The engine speed is given as 250 rpm. It is asked to calculate the pressure on slide bars Fm, thrust in the connecting rod Fm. Fq, tangential force on the crank pin Ft and the turning moment on the crankshaft capital T. We can note down the data given in the problem. The first data is the considered engine as horizontal engine. The crank radius value R is given as 300 millimeter that is 0.3 meter. Mass of the reciprocating parts MR is given as 250 kilogram. Crank angle theta is given as 60 degree which has been measured from the inner dead center of the given considered horizontal engine. The difference between the driving and back pressure acting on the piston P1 minus P2 is given as 0.35 Newton per millimeter square which is 0.35 into 10 power 6 Newton per meter square. Length of the connecting rod L is given as 1.2 meter. The cylinder diameter capital D is given as 0.5 meter and the engine speed is given as 250 rpm. It is asked to find out the pressure acting on the side bars Fn, thrust in the connecting rod Fq, tangential force acting on the crankshaft Ft and turning moment acting on the crankshaft capital T. To calculate the pressure acting on the side bars Fn, the formula is Fq into sin phi, where Fq is the thrust in the connecting rod and phi is the angle made by the connecting rod with the axis of the engine. Fq can be calculated as Fp divided by cos phi. Here Fp is the piston effort that can be calculated using the formula Fl minus Fi. Since it's a horizontal engine, the weight of the reciprocating parts need not to be considered while calculating the piston effect. Here this FL that is net force acting on the piston due to the steam pressure is P1 minus P2 into area of the cylinder. P1 minus P2 that, that is the pressure difference value is given as 0.35 into 10 power 6 Newton per meter square. Area of the cylinder can be calculated as pi by 4 d square. Diameter of the cylinder is given in the problem as 0.5 meter. So the FL value can be obtained as 68722.3393 Newton. Okay. We have calculated FL. If we calculate the value of FI, then we can calculate FP. Okay. FI is the inertial force acting on the piston. The formula is mr omega square r into cos theta plus cos 2 theta divided by n. Here mr is the mass of the reciprocating parts, omega is the angular velocity that is 2 pi n by 60, 2 pi into engine speed is 250 rpm. Therefore omega value will be obtained as 26.18 radian per second. R is the crank radius, theta is the crank angle, L is the ratio between the length of the connecting rod and crank radius that is 1.2 divided by 0.3 that will be equal to 4. So now we can calculate Fi as mass of the reciprocating parts is 250 kg, omega is 26.18 radian per second, R value is 0.3 meter into cos theta plus cos 2 theta divided by L. So the Fi value can be obtained as 19276.6613 Newton. Okay. Now we can calculate the value of Fp. Fp is Fl minus Fi. 
FL is 68,722.3393 minus FI is 19,276.6613. So the FP value can be obtained as 49,445.678 Newton. Now to calculate the value of FQ, we have calculated FP and we need to calculate this phi value. We know the relationship between the angles phi and theta as sin phi is equal to sin theta divided by n. Theta value is 60 degree here and n value is 4. So sin phi value will be 0.2165 from which we can calculate the value of phi as sin inverse of 0.2165 that is 12.5 degree. Now we can calculate FQ as FP by cos phi. FP we have calculated as 49445.678 divided by cos 12.5 degree. FQ value is 50646.1951 Newton. Now we can calculate the value of FN as FQ sin phi. So FQ is 50646.1951 into sin phi is 12.5 degree. So the value of FN that is pressure acting on the side bars can be obtained as 10961.8429 Newton. This is the answer for the first subdivision. In the second subdivision it is asked to calculate the thrust in the connecting rod FQ. In the previous stuff itself, we have calculated the value of FQ as 50646.1951 Newton. In the third step, it is asked to calculate the tangential force acting on the crankshaft FT, that is FQ sin theta plus phi. So 50646.1951 into sin theta plus phi. So FT is 48302.1348 Newton. In the fourth subdivision it is asked to calculate the turning moment acting on the crankshaft that is tangential force acting on the crankshaft into crank radius. So 48302.1348 into crank radius is 0.3 meter. So capital T is 14490.6404 Newton meter. This is the answer for the fourth subdivision.